So today I'm going to be planting some roses and I put my microphone on to try to help with all the background noise. We live near or on a busy road so you can always see the cars going by. But um, so let's get to it. Now I got two roses from Home Depot the other day and just some things that I look for when purchasing roses at Lowe's or Home Depot or um, other like stores like that is I make sure that all of the stems on the rose have growth on them. So you can see like right here, this one has a lot of healthy growth. Um, and then the other one I accidentally, or it, one of the new branches got cut off on the way home. So we had a bunch of bags of soil in the car as well. But this one also has lots of awesome new growth. So I'm just gonna kind of talk to you guys about how to plant roses before I go plant them because I am planting them right by the busy road. So you won't be able to hear me talk most likely. But beforehand, I will soak these in a bucket of water for an hour or two. And then when I go to plant them, I will make sure the hole is deep enough where the roots can stand um, like freely. So I won't bunch all the roots up uh, at the lowest level. I'll try to let the roots go down freely and fill in soil around them. Um, and then it's also really important to have this kind of round area of the rose uh, underground. This is called the bud union, I believe. So we'll put this underground and make sure we just see the green stems poking up rather than having this above ground. So I'm gonna start soaking these and we'll plant them here in a little bit. right now um, and we'll leave in, them in there for a couple hours but I think I forgot to tell you guys what kind I got so I got a it's called gold metal it's sort of just a bush rose it only grows to be two and a half to three feet wide um, and high so uh, we're gonna put these in our quarter beds just to add some yellow because I feel like I'm always lacking yellow in my garden beds all right, so we'll let these guys soak for a little bit and start digging holes for them. Alrighty, so these guys have been soaking for a little over an hour, so let's get them planted. Okay, so you can see my hole here, and I am just going to measure first to make sure they'll fit. Like that should fit in nicely. Maybe a little bit deeper. I'm just going to put some starter fertilizer in here to help it um, get established. I do have some of its old soil, so I'm going to use some of that just around the roots. It's a bit looser.
bushes are all watered in I will probably have to move some things around in this bed so I'll move this bush over a little bit more and I'll move that bulb over a little bit more as well right now I think it has plenty of space once I get this bush moved so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time bye